Okay, we're back with Lorraine and Bob. This is the first time Bob's going to meet a saddle as such. And we put it on the grass and we've got three spots to play the bingo game. We've got this new white mounting block for us to stand on. This is the first day that he's seen it. And Lorraine is giving him a click and a treat every time he pays positive attention to it because we want him to be totally relaxed with that because we'll be using it all over the place to get him to do drive-by grooming and mounting preparation. Now, um, Lorraine's going to use the bingo game and just get him to head over to the saddle and hopefully he'll sniff it and she can click and treat, but she'll click and treat the closest she gets to him showing any interest in the saddle. So the bingo game is with your stick on the horse's withers and just ask him to walk forward keeping his nose in front of you. And you direct his nose with the stick or the rope as needed. This is a new object. So Lorraine is giving him a click and a treat. And it's an old saddle, so we're going to let the horse do whatever he wants with that saddle. It's a little bit harder to do this with your brand new thousand dollar saddle, but this one um, has seen many miles and it's got a new purpose now. No, just let that be part of his exploration. So you just stand there in a relaxed way and let him do it. And then if, if he's bored with it, you can go on to the next thing. But as long as he's showing interest, you can stay with it. Because you're going to come back to it. He's worn his bareback pad, so we're still using the bareback pad as one of the spots to explore. He's had that on and he was quite comfortable wearing it. But uh, he's still wanting to sniff it and lick it, nibble on it. Horses use their lips like we use our fingers, so it's really important to give them time just to do all that touching and feeling, because otherwise, how do they know what it is and how do they know that it's not harmless? Same with pawing. Pawing is a way that they determine how that thing's going to react to them. And when you think they've had long enough, you just take them away to a third thing. It's good to have at least three things because you can do different routes. You're not just going back and forth between two things. So if you've got a triangle of stuff, you can choose to vary your roots. She could have gone from the pad back to the saddle. And she could go from the saddle back to the mounting block, and she can go from the mounting block. This time she's gone from the mounting block back to the bareback pad. If you've got three things, then the horse can't presume he's just going from A to B. He has to wait for you to decide where he's going to go. Now here's the saddle, which is the newest thing today. So she's going to click and treat him once, and then she's just going to relax and let him stand there as long as he wants to and shows any interest. When he stops showing interest, then you can move on.
Click him if he touches it. And then just stick it, go stick it on the barrel maybe eventually. If he comes, he comes. If he doesn't, it doesn't matter. And as, as soon as he touches it, click him again. Walk away, Lorraine. Just walk away. Just yeah, just just walk away totally and just let him work it out. If he pulls it off there, that would be quite good. And click if he touches it. 